हेलो एवरीवन वील सी वन थेरम दैट इज एरन होल्ड केनेडी थेरम व्हाट एरन होल्ड केनेडी स्टेट इफ थ्री बॉडीज व्हेन मूव्स रिलेटिवली टू ईच अदर दे हैव थ्री इंस्टेंटेनियस सेंटर एंड ऑल दिस थ्री इंस्टेंटेनियस सेंटर इट विल लाइ ऑन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन means three body when they are connected then there will be three instantaneous center and all these three instantaneous center will lie on a straight line so this is very important theorem when we use instantaneous center method by using this only we can locate the all instantaneous center okay now what is the method of the locating the instantaneous center This is one formula that is n equal to small n in bracket n minus one divided by two. So capital n means the number of instantaneous center we will get by using this formula, where small n is what the number of link. So based on that we will get how many instantaneous center exist for that particular mechanism. Suppose this is the four bar mechanism, so that is link one, link two, link three. and this is a link four so for this mechanism the number of links are the four right then how many instantaneous center we will get so if we put this four in above the formula we will get number of instantaneous center the six so by using this formula what we will get the how many instantaneous centers it will lie that we will come to know second how to locate all this six instantaneous center or which are the those six instantaneous center that we have to see by this formula we will get the number of instantaneous center and by book keeping table method we can find which are those different instantaneous center now in case of this just we have taken example of the four bar mechanism in that case we will get six instantaneous center now we will see which are those six instantaneous center so there is one table here the link so we have the four links so we have written 1 2 3 and the 4 this indicates the number of link now below this so one adjacent of this one is the 2 so we will write instantaneous center 1 2 now below this 2 adjacent of this 2 is 3 so here you will get instantaneous center 2 3 now next 3 adjacent of this 3 is 4 so we will get 3 4 now after 4 there is no any adjacent so we will leave this blank entity now coming to the next row here so again below this one instantaneous center this one as it is now we are moving to the second row so we will leave this second blank 1 and 3 so here you will get instantaneous center 1 3 now below this second we will leave one gap and 2 4 so instantaneous center 2 4 and if we come below this 3 then when we move on gap there is no any number so we cannot write here anything so again this is the blank so i think we had found out the five but according to this formula there are the six instantaneous center so again we will move to the next row so 1 and 2 this is the third row so two gap in between so below this one now two gap this is the one this is the second so now one and the four so one four now these are the six instantaneous center so by using this book keeping table method we can find out which are those six different instantaneous center that we can find out now we will see how to locate all these six instantaneous center so this is the four bar which is fixed so that is the four bar mechanism this is link 1 link 2 link 3 link 4 now so here we use the circle method to locate all these six instantaneous center now see so as there is a four link so we will mark four different point on this circle so this is 1 2 3 and 4 we'll mark this is a one point second point third point and this is the Fourth point. Now, we had already seen 
that when we join link 1 and link 2 with the help of the pin joint, at that point only the particular instantaneous center it will lie. So as we are joining link 1 and link 2, so here you will get one instantaneous center that is instantaneous center 1, 2. Now similarly, so we join this 1, 2 means what we did we will locate the one instantaneous center. Total we are having six instantaneous center for this four bar mechanism. Out of that we located the first. Now we will move to the next. When we join link 2 and link 3, here we will get the another instantaneous center that is instantaneous center 2, 3. So here we will join 2, 3. So that is the second instantaneous center we will get. Now next. When we join link 3 and link 4 with the help of the pin joint here, you will get the another instantaneous center that is instantaneous center 3, 4. So we will connect this 3, 4 that is the third instantaneous center which we located. Now next, when we join link 4 and link 1, again here you will get one instantaneous center. So that is instantaneous center 1, 4 not 4, 1. So we write always in increasing order. So this is the fourth instantaneous center. So we will join this one four and this is the four instantaneous center which we located from its configuration. Now we know that for the four bar mechanism total six instantaneous centers are there. Out of that we located the four one two and three four which already we marked in this circle. Now so here you will get 1, 2, 3 and 4. This is one rectangle. Now what we will do? I will join the diagonal 1, 3. When I join this 1, 3, so this rectangle is divided into two parts. That is triangle 1, 2, 3 and triangle 1, 3, 4. So it is divided into two triangle. So triangle 1, 2, 3 and triangle 1, 4, 3. Now I will consider triangle 1, 2, 3. So already we located instantaneous center 1, 2, instantaneous center 2, 3 and this is instantaneous center 1, 3. So from this triangle we got 3 instantaneous center. Now according to the Aaron Holt Kennedy what he says when there are 3 different link joined with each other 3 instantaneous center lies and all these 3 instantaneous center will lie on one straight line. Now see instantaneous center 1, 2, 2, 3 and 1, 3. Now here instantaneous center 1, 2, instantaneous center 2, 3. Out of these 3, 2 are on a straight line. So third instantaneous center it should lie on this straight line either in upward direction or in downward direction. So as the distance of this link 3 is less than that of the 1. So here you will meet the instantaneous at an upper direction. So for that we are taking this line in upward direction. Even you can go uh, in downward direction also, no problem. So this is what the instantaneous center. So somewhere here we will get this third instantaneous center, but we don't know right now. Now I will consider the second triangle 1, 4, 3. From this instantaneous center 1, 4, instantaneous center 3, 4, and instantaneous center 1 3 again these three instantaneous center according to Arnold Kennedy all these three should lie on one straight line so here is 1 4 3 4 instantaneous center so the third one instantaneous center 1 3 it should lie on this line only so again this is the line on which the instantaneous center it will lie now the side 1, 3 is common for the first triangle and for the second triangle. So the line 1 for the first triangle and line 2 for the second triangle, they should meet at one common point because the side 1, 3 is common. So here we will get the instantaneous center 1, 3. Now see, we located the fifth instantaneous center. So now 5 instantaneous center we located, now only 1 it is remaining. What we will do? We will join the diagonal 2, 4. Now when I join diagonal 2, 4, again 2 triangle it forms, which are goes to 1, triangle 1, 4, 2 and second triangle 2, 3, 4. So these are the, this is the 1 and this is the second. 
So again from this triangle we locate the instantaneous center. Instantaneous center 1, 2. Instantaneous center 2, 4. 1, 4. And instantaneous center 2, 4. So from this triangle 3 side 3 instantaneous center. So 1, 2, 1, 4 and 2, 4. See here 1, 2 and 1, 4. 2 are on the same line. So third should be on the same line. So this is the line we mark. Now next we will consider the triangle 2, 3, 4. 2, 3, 4. So from this triangle 3 instantaneous center. Instantaneous center 2, 3. Instantaneous center 3, 4. And instantaneous center 2, 4. 2, 3, 3, 4 and 2, 4. We will see instantaneous center 2, 3. Instantaneous center 2, 4. These two are on straight line. So third should be again on the same line. So we will extend this line. So again the side 2, 4 is common. So we should get one common point. So from this triangle, these three instantaneous center, one straight line. And from this instantaneous center, another one straight line. So here you will get the common side. So common point that is instantaneous center 2, 4. So in this way, we located again the sixth instantaneous center. Thank you.